So Omar, what advice do you have to get high level guests on a podcast? The thing about podcast guests, it's a lot easier than anybody really thinks it is. And especially when you're first starting out your podcast, like getting high level guests is not hard. Mm -hmm. It really isn't. Everyone thinks there's like this barrier between them and uh, the person they're trying to get on the podcast, but really the only barriers that are ever there between these high level people are maybe if they're really, really big with social media followings, they're already used to a ton of like messages coming in. So they'll have like people in between that are answering their emails and things like that. Um, but other than that, if you can surpass those barriers and get a direct line with them in some way or form, whether it's clubhouse or, or cold email or something that they're just not used to seeing as many requests for things, you'll be able to get through to them. And uh, especially when it's really high level people with no followings or barely any following, that's when it really gets fun, right? Um, you can get billionaires on your podcast easily if, if they don't have a social media presence as much as they should. So um it's a lot easier than you think it is, honestly. Where it gets dicey is like getting people like Pat Flynn or Dan Locke, things like that. That's where you have to use some elbow grease. Like, for example, Pat Flynn, I got through um, going on his live streams and just kind of pitching myself. And then go, with Dan Locke, I, I pitched him on a clubhouse stage. So things like that, you know. So you gave a really nice tip on how some people can monetize with some ad spend from these obscure podcasters or podcast platforms. What are other ways people can monetize on podcasting? Sure. So monetizing on podcasts, I think this entire podcast industry, just to kind of give you like an overview of it, it's very, it takes a lot of elbow grease and creativity to really get traction on the monetization. And um, like, there's no set rule book, like with Instagram, oh, hey, influencer partnerships, like everyone knows this, right? With podcasts, there's so many different ways to monetize. And you just have to think about from your audience's perspective and you have to take an empathetic approach. So sponsorships is definitely one way, but probably the least used way and probably the least lucrative way, in my opinion, as well. Another way is building up a targeted audience on your podcast and then having your own offers in the beginning, middle, and end of your podcast, where you then drive traffic towards your website or your ebook or your email list, wherever. Then you have ways where you can actually go and locally get sponsorships with people doing cold calling, cold emails and reaching out to these people or just networking with them saying, Hey, like I have this podcast, I have so-and-so listeners, but my listeners are very, very targeted and they're in your niche. I'll give you a podcast spot for the next 10 episodes. Give me such an amount of money. That's another way to do it. Another way to do it. And this is a really creative way that I heard recently on clubhouse. Uh, there's a guy that I follow called Adam and he said he had a real estate podcast for about three years and he threw a convention at the, at the end of those three years where he had like 60 of his listeners come out and pay him like 2,500 each for a ticket. Um, and he just threw this convention and he served like lobster and steak every night and he had t-shirts made and things like that. And there's just, just like this massive networking event and, and keynote speaking event. And he threw that specifically from his podcast because his listeners are so engaged and so invested in him, you know? So when you have an engaged listenership and engaged following, like, even five people, you can monetize quite well. You know, like I've gotten a lot of business straight from my podcast. Another way, and this is a way that you can start implementing right from day one, is guest-facing monetization. Having people that you would want to do business with or close business deals with on your podcast in the context of a value first ask, build a relationship up with them. And then at the end of that podcast episode, after maybe you've pushed out some content around them, or maybe right after the podcast episode, just play it by ear, go for the close, or at least go for hopping on another call and seeing if you can show them your product or your service.